Why is it that diseases are skyrocketing? If you look at statistics back in the 1960s, we expected a child born to only have a 4% chance of developing a chronic disease. But today, in our day and age, according to the RAND Corporation, who does statistics for Congress, published in 2017, right now in America, 60% of adults have at least one chronic disease. 42% have at least two. And the highest category, five or more, account for an average of 51 prescriptions per year per person. Why do we have more people that suffer from infertility or celiacs or Crohn's disease? Why do we have more menopause? Why are we having more autism with our school children? Why do we have more diabetes? Why do we have more arthritis and joint pain than ever before? If you look at what happened to our health and the reason our health started to decline after World War II, you can blame some of that on nutritional deficiencies. We saw as agriculture changed from using natural fertilizers to chemical fertilizers, as we used the same crops over and over again and didn't allow flooding to replenish the minerals on the soil, we saw a decrease in the nutritional value of our food. From the 1950s to the 1990s, we saw vast changes in our eating habits. We saw the introduction of margarine. We saw sugary cereals. We saw more junk food and fake food and more carbonated beverages and pop than ever before. And as our eating habits changed and there was a lack of nutrition in our food, we saw an increase of diseases as the nutritional deficiencies became worse. But in the 1990s, there was an even bigger change. If you look at the 1990s to today, our eating habits are very similar. We had fast food then. We have fast food now. We had junk food then, we have junk food now. If anything, probably the awareness of people trying to eat healthier is increased enough that we're trying to do better. Yet looking at the statistics, not from 50 years ago, but from the 1990s to today, we're talking a time that most of us remember society being very similar to what it is today. Looking at the health statistics from 1992 to today, we see an alarming increase in the number of people suffering from disease. For example, from 1990 to 2002, 13. Deaths from heart disease increased by 41%. From 1999 to 2015, in a 16-year span, inflammatory bowel disease, which includes things like Crohn's and celiacs and irritable bowel syndrome, is up 50%, according to the Center for Disease Control. From 1997 to 2011, 14-year span, we saw a 50% increase in food allergies in children. And one of the most alarming ones is that from 1990 to 2010, we saw an increase of diabetes by 300%. And it doesn't stop there. From 1991 to 2015, deaths from Alzheimer's in our society increased 783%. And from the 1990s to 2018, autism has risen 4,200%. Why is it that we're getting sicker than ever before? Could it be that we've been going in the wrong direction that we've been overlooking some key or core elements to our health. The fact of the matter is, if you're going in the wrong direction, you're never going to get to where you want to go. You have to figure out the right direction. You have to figure out those core elements of health, those core principles that we're missing today that are making us sicker than ever before. And one of those things that happened in the 1990s that completely changed our food wasn't our food choices. It was how our food was made. We have added more chemicals to our agriculture, more chemicals that are damaging our digestive tract, and as a result, it's affecting our health. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, in 2013, there were 36 neurotoxins that are approved for use in U.S. agriculture, 36 neurotoxins. Just one of those, glyphosate, has been linked to a decrease in our good gut bacteria and to actually degrading or tearing down or causing holes and damages in our digestive tract. And when you mess up digestion, when you damage your ability to properly digest food, you're getting all sorts of problems going on. We run into lots of nutritional deficiencies. Ask yourself this. Does this apply to you? Do you ever have an eyelid twitch or a leg cramp or ringing in the ears or maybe stiff shoulders or joint pain? Do you ever have cavities even though you brush your teeth? Well, those are all nutritional deficiencies when they're in the same group. But at the same time, do you ever crave something sweet or are physically full and go to the refrigerator to see what looks good? And you know what's really bad when you open that up? You look inside, nothing stands out to you. You close the door, you wait for 10 seconds, and you open it up again to see if anything's changed. 
Do you ever have times when you have a word and you can't get to the word? You know what it is. You just can't remember it. It's that thing. You know that thing. Or you look your children in the eye and you call them by the wrong name. Is it because you didn't know their name? No, you probably gave it to them. But it's a breakdown of some of the neurons in the brain because we're missing certain key nutrients. And it happens again and again. These are some of the signs that happen when you mess up digestion. If you've ever felt bloated, if you've ever felt constipated, if you've ever had to race to the restroom because you've got a case of the runs. Folks, you understand what it's like to have problems with digestion. What you probably don't understand is how much it's impacting our health. The door to the body is the digestive tract. And imagine your digestive tract as if it were a tire. And when we get exposure to toxic chemicals in our digestive tract, it's like nails into a tire and the tire goes flat. And if you have nails in your tire, what can we do to fix it? Many people talk about, let's try to eat organic. And that's a fantastic thing to do. But can we eat organic every single meal? And the answer for most people is no. I mean, think about the last time you had food that wasn't organic, that could have had those chemicals in it. Was it last year or was it last night? Or maybe even today. When we're eating food that isn't organic, we have exposure to so many of these chemicals. The fact of the matter is, if we have chemicals that have damaged our digestive tract, then avoiding further exposure to chemicals by eating organic isn't going to be enough because we have to do something to deal with the damage that has already happened. If you want to fix a flat tire, you've got to do three things. You've got to pull the nails out, you've got to patch the holes, and you've got to fill it up with air. For our body, here's how it works. If you want to fix the problem, we've got to get rid of the toxins. And not just the toxins that are in our colon. We have to get rid of the toxins that are in our liver, that are in our kidneys, even that are in our cells. A full spectrum detox. And it goes one step further when talking about pulling the nails out because there's something called inflammation. So many of these chemicals are causing massive inflammation. We have inflammation running amok in the body. Think of this as congestion on a freeway. When the freeway is congested, you get fewer new cars in and fewer cars off the freeway. It's kind of a way of saying you're getting fewer nutrients to where it needs to go and fewer of the toxins out. We have to be able to deal with the inflammation. And inflammation, it's not just one type of inflammation. The body can have multiple types of inflammation. We have to deal with inflammation on multiple fronts. You can also think of this as full spectrum inflammation. And in addition to getting rid of the toxins and the inflammation, we have to repair the damage that they caused. We have to patch the holes in the tire. And there are certain key nutrients in Mother Nature that are incredible at helping the body repair the digestive tract. And if you use them, you help the body to patch the holes. And if you don't, you deal with more damage long term. And then we've got to get the essential nutrients. And you've got to be able to put the air back in the tire, fill the body up with the raw building blocks that it needs to be healthy. And these include not just five or 10 or even a dozen or even 40 different nutrients. When you look at what's essential, according to science, there's nearly 100 different essential nutrients in the human body. These are the things that you can't be without. It's like an engine or brakes or, or a steering wheel to a car. And there's other nutrients that are fantastic adaptogens that help all of the systems in the body work better. When we give the body the raw nutrients, when we give the body the right signalers, at the same time as we're pulling out the toxins and fixing the holes, now we have the potential to make a difference. Folks, there's a reason why we're sick and we don't need to be. God designed our bodies to be able to heal. And if we can give the body the right building blocks, the right nutrients, if we can give it the body, help the body get rid of the toxins, the things that don't belong, the things that are damaging our digestive tract and our bodies and causing inflammation and at the same time help to heal that damage. Well, now we have the potential to make a world of difference and we're seeing that all throughout society. When you give the body what it needs, the body will do amazing things to heal. And we all know that there's a huge growing need. According to the statistics, over 60% of Americans have at least one chronic disease. So if it's not you, look to your left and look to your right. Two of the three of you are probably suffering needlessly. And that's something that we want to do something about. We are on a crusade to help make a difference in the world by teaching people the foundational core principles of health. Our core message is that we educate and you make the decision. So if you believe that you and the people you care about deserve to be healthier than you are, deserve to get healthy and stay healthy, 
then our invitation to you is to find out more. Spend 50 minutes on an educational webinar where we will teach you some of the key principles of health, these core principles that can make a difference, these strategies on how we're going to pull the nails out and patch the hole and fill the tire up with air, how we're going to help our bodies be healthier than ever before. And please, if you know someone else that is suffering, someone that needs better health in their life or has a loved one in need, then please help us share this message with the world. It's time for better health today. Please go to corehealth.today. Today's the day you can make a difference. Corehealth.today to find out more if this is something that can help you and your family and the people you care about. Thank you so much for your time. God bless.